Hey guys, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. We're on progression three today of topspin on the forehand side. So I'm gonna walk you through what we've done the past couple days. The first is just getting that feedback from the, from the ball to the racket. Really just trying to get this thing to start turning over, get this tennis ball to start turning over. So, you know, just moving my string straight up the back side of the tennis ball to get it to turn over was our initial move. Then we started incorporating a loop and making sure to get the racket moving on a swing path from really below the ball to help start to generate more spin. And now we're at a point where we want to become, you know, more aware of the result of the shot, okay? And so what I've always found is, you know, just working on topspin and creating a lot of brush on the ball from the baseline a lot of times can start to result in the shot landing pretty short on the other side of the court. So if I took this from back here and just tried to really crank up the spin, in a match situation, that's almost too much top spin now. It's great feedback in terms of me knowing I'm creating a lot of top, but results wise, it's almost too much spin because it lands so short in the tennis court. And I wanna hit a ball that's you know, this modern forehand that's, you know, got plenty of topspin, but driving through the court, doing damage to my opponent. So what I'm looking for you guys to do now is just start to find that really good blend um, of, of spin and power now, okay? Make sure we're really, really utilizing a great loop, getting the racket head working below the ball, and then if you feel like you know, you're almost getting too much top spin and struggling to get the ball past the service line, start to flirt with flattening the ball back out. And this is, I think, the best way to find the right type of top spin for your game is just kind of playing around with scaling the top spin back. I mean, that shot right there, you guys can see, has a really good amount of top but I'm allowing myself to flatten it out just ever so slightly as to start to work the ball deep in the court. Okay, so Mark's gonna feed a couple in here. Again, we're really cueing into this idea, one, uh, you know, of, of letting the strings really move up on the ball, two, really try to help myself out creating spin by getting the loop to drop maybe lower than you guys are comfortable with, and then three, starting to become a little more results oriented and therefore not just being okay that we're getting a lot of topspin, but use the right type of topspin to create the result that you feel like the pros get. Okay, so here we go. One more, Marco, here we go. And so you guys can see that swing path is really conducive to creating a lot of top because we cannot get that unless we go really below the ball. And then I'm hitting a, a really effective forehand because I've allowed myself to, to scale that really you know, extreme top spin back a little bit to help me drive the ball through the court, okay? So that's progression three of top spin. I think you guys will find that if, if you kind of work your way up to that, that even if you're getting top spin now, having a better understanding for what you're doing with the tennis ball and how we try to manipulate the ball is gonna be really helpful for your game, okay? So that's all I got for you guys today. Please click like below this video, and if you happen to be watching on YouTube, please subscribe to our channel. Thanks, and we'll see you guys soon.